posibleng mag-tandem sa eleksyon 2016. Yan ang tambalang Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte at Senator Bongbong Marcos. My report, si Jam Sante. Hindi pa rin mamatay-matay ang usap-usapang tatakbo sa eleksyon 2016 si Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte. Nauna nang sinabi ng kanyang kapartido na kung tatakbo man ng alkalde ay pagka-presidente lang at hindi nito pipiliin maging vice-presidente. Kaya usap-usapan din kung sino ba ang magiging running mate niya kung sakali. I always follow my father's advice. His advice is very simple. Keep your options open. Naging panauhin kamakailan ni Mayor Duterte sa kanyang local program si Senador Bongbong Marcos kung saan sinabi ng senador na idolo niya si Duterte. Tulad ni Duterte, pabor din si Marcos na gawing federal country ang Pilipinas. Sa ilalim ng federalismo, mahahati sa iba't ibang estado ang bansa at bawat estado ay may sariling finance at development center. Magkakaroon din sila ng sarili nilang kinatawan sa Senado. Pero hanggang ngayon, itinatanggi ni Duterte na may balak siyang tumakbo. To be president is a matter of destiny. So whoever reaches that 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 throne there must be the chosen one of God. Gate ni Marcos hindi naman nila na pag-usapan ni Duterte ang eleksyon pero hindi naman daw niya sinasarado ang posibilidad na maging tandem ng sila sa 2016. Never say never, but hindi namin pinapag-usapan yun. Hindi namin pinapag-usapan yun. We we na pinag-usapan namin ni Mayor na Duterte nung ako yung nung kasama ko siya ay tungkol sa mga isyu nga yung federalism talagang lagi niyang nababanggit at pangalawa yung 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 Uh, mga issue doon sa kanila, sa Davao at uh, sa, sa BBL na papag-usapan namin pero hindi namin napag-usapan ng politika. Hindi lang sa federalismo nagkakasundo si na Marcos at Duterte. Pareho rin silang may alinlangan sa Bangsamoro Basic Law na isinusulong ng administrasyong Aquino. Nabanggit na rin noon ni Duterte na naniniwala siya sa mekanismong pinairal noong martial law para tugisin ang mga rebelde at iba pang nagkakasala sa batas. Noong nakaraang linggo nga, sinabi rin ni Duterte na kailangan ng Pilipinas ang panibagong Ferdinand Marcos. Kailangan mo ng kung pariho ni Marcos, titino to at kaya mo. At wala nang... Uh... Ngayon, kung kaya ni Bongbong Marcos yung ginawa ng tatay niya, oo, oh, okay, mas maganda. Ayon sa PDP Laban, bukas sila makipag-alyansa sa ibang partido. Hindi rin doon nila isinasara ang posibilidad ng Duterte-Marcos tandem. Anything is possible in politics. And of course, if Duterte, Mayor Duterte will be our standard bearer, we have to defer, we have to give, to give him some elbow room on, on choosing his, uh, his uh, preferred running mate. So we will give him that. That discretion, that right to choose his. Testing kung hero ba si Marcos, wala akong pakialam. Whether hero, hero siya o hindi, pagkasundalo sa atyan siya. Yung hero-hero politika na yan eh. One is the president, number one qualification, malibin ka. Tapos pangalawa, sundalo ka. Whether I favor uh, the opposition or I side with the, the doso, yung pamilya na. Marcos, I'm limited to what is the law. This issue has divided the nation. Lahat ng Ilocano say that si Marcos na nagagiro. But there is the law that favors the Buryan. So why is it a... Bakit pa ako magdilidali ang ibang presidente ayaw? Hero, hero. Hindi hero, di hindi. Sundalo, oko. Magkong maganda siyang presidente. Depends. Almost half of the country says that he was a good president, lalo na mga Ilocano. Pwede nasasaktan sila nitong ginagawa ngayon. So hindi nahihil yung... Lahat ng Ilocano, ang sikreto lang may galit yan. Sa kanilang kapwa Ilocano. Several millions out of the hundred million Filipinos. No, I don't think so. You know why? You know why hindi mag-abot ng million yan? Tignan mo pagtakbo ni Bongbong. Iilang diferensya lang sila. It's about 200,000. Tapos sabihin ninyo na uh, it's still fresh. 
Ibig bongbong Marcos sa, sa sabi niya, dinaya siya, baka. Kung hindi siya dinaya, talagang manalo siya. So the election result mayor is one of the parameters? Well, even then, I said, the, the, the number is uh, very minimal. If it's an indication, indication to you that there is no more such thing as a Marcos trauma, just look at the results of the election. It will in, tell you that Selene is nagabol sila na na. How how il ilan ang boto na ano? It's about six hundred to two hundred thousand. In the hindsight, kung balikan ko ang panahon noon at ngayon, kung hindi lang siya tumagal ng pagka-presidente, kung hindi lang siya naging diktador na matagal, pinaka-debest na presidente yung dumaan, Marcos. Yung biyayang dagat niya, pati yung masagana 99. That was the time na hindi tayo nag-import talaga ng pagkain si Tango. Yun talaga. Sundin na lang natin yun kasi yun ang gumana. Huwag na tayo na mag-imbinto ng bago kasi yung iba naman dyan, huwag natin sundin yan. Baka sabihin, sunod-sunod uh, lang tayo. Para, ah, uh, Tinitignan ko na yung mga, naghihiram ako ng material. Marcos, Masagana 99, pati yung ano. Between families actually, it has degraded into something like others to get us a family more. It's Ferdinand Marcos and the nation. Sir, why do you think he deserves to be in the Libyan na mga bayan? Because he was a great president and he was a hero. Ano yung sabi nila na hindi na totoo eh. Wala naman na silang pinapalabas na except that a mother statement. Well, I said that. Why don't we heal the? Alam mo, it's also the Filipino nation who wants to see something good come out of it. Sir, yung ano yung other stuff yung personal. Hindi dapat yano. Sir, what would you say to people who will um, criticize you because of the supposed abuses that happened during the Marcos regime? They might be um, displeased, to say the least, about no, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Sir, no, why? No, but, why? Because he said he did something good for the country. Mm. Yung sabi lang dictatorship period, right? that remains to be debated so many generations from now. Mm -hmm. But it has a uh, persona, na personality. Ayoko na lang. It leaves the bad taste in the mouth to you. But simply ako, my decision would really be to allow this burial and mm -hmm. being an amateur. Sir, would you say that there is um, similarities with, uh, um, in the in terms of leadership of ex-president Marcos in your leadership? Who win against the... Kayo. Meron po ba similarity? Wala eh. In I, I cannot ninyo? match even a fraction of what he had. Uh, uh, he was very bright. Mm -hmm. And he knew all along, he would almost predict what was uh, in the future. So, sir, do you believe all of Marcos' years as president were good? Well, in the sense that we, we take it as a, 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 a time for uh, for a man to be president. Hindi mo masabi na lahat na masama ang ginawa niya. All the things that uh, Marcos has built, uh, nandiyan pa hanggang makikita mo eh. Ngayon, eh, ba't dumaan mo lang? May isang highway na tama. But sir, do you also recognize the bad, supposedly, that happened during that well, time? Well, uh, we all have our faults here of that. Every human being is fit to play. Ganon yan. Pero yung idealism, ang mahirap abutin. He had the idealism, he had the vision for his country. Ako, I do not compare me with that. Ang ako, interesado lang naman ako magtrabaho sa gobyerno. Oh, it happens to be the president, uh, presidential uh, thing, but uh, uh, ito si 
Ferdinand Marcos really planned his life to serve his country as president. Makita ko naman ang rise niya sa ano. Kami dito, wala, taga Mindanao, do not compare me with the president. Sir, a lot of people are also supporting a tandem of you and Bong Bong. What do you think of that, sir? I will, I thank the ang tao who were there and I would like to thank them. For after all, I said, uh, and not everybody knows it, uh, my father and uh, Ferdinand Marcos were close allies. He was a loyal uh, ally. Sir, what in the Marcos governance would you copy in your own presidency? Kita mo naman. Biyayan dagat, maganda yun. Masana ka na 99, maganda yun. Bati yung naanon na siya, they allow the binigay na niya sa tao. This is the blueprint. Eh, along the way, puro kurap dito, puro kurap doon. Ayan, nasira ko lang. Hindi last day sa lana. Pero, overall, I think that he did something good for the country. For after all, we elected him. And he was not, sabi mo na, may isang word dito na, tamad. Hindi tamad yun. I believe that he was really, even asleep, he was thinking about his work as president. Sir, could you just reiterate why President Marcos deserves to be? Because he is president, or he was the president of the Republic of the Philippines, and he was a soldier. And it was good. Kung ba't natanong na lang kasi yung tao kasi wala nang nakita kung yung pagkakamali. It's time to hear it. You know, when people, people judge best when they condemn. Ganun kasi yan. You are at your best element, especially yung kasiraan ng kapwa mo tao. Hindi ka nila mamadya. Look at the structures that Marcos built. Nandiyan pa, ginagamit. But dito sa utak, I said he was the most enterprising president that we ever had. Kasi galing rin siya sa, hindi naman mayaman eh. But he came from a province where uh, he grew up in a simple... Sumunod sa kanya si Bingbong. Bongbongbong. Kung manalo siya sa protest niya, baka bago ang ating vice president. What he actually said is a real statement of exasperation and a genuine wish to step down if there's a better leader no? or if there's a qualified leader to take over. And he has said that uh, he thinks that um, uh, Senator Bongbong Marcos is one of the better qualified leaders to succeed him. If there's developments and he will win the protests and he becomes vice president, yes, he will make through his work. If, if he wins in the, if he becomes vice president, perhaps the president will make through his work. Now he will step down. Because what he's worried about is if we were to use constitutional succession, then the successor may not be qualified. And then he expressed a preference on who he thinks will be qualified. So if he wins, I think he has said it before. He has said it before that if he wins the protest and he's declared as vice president. Ilan lang? Four, five, six? Wala akong barangay captain. Wala akong congressman. Wala akong pera. Si Amy pa ang nagbigay. Sabi niya, inutang daw niya. Ah, si Aimee supported me. I do not know it because of, uh, you know, my father was a cabinet member of President Marcos during the first term of his presidency. My father was one of the two who stood by Marcos in his darkest hours. Everybody was shifting to the liberal at the time, Pedius Dado Makapagano. And it was only Ibarle and my father who stood by Marcos. 
That is why when he won, my father was one of the cabinet.